Greetings, YouTube. Today I bring you two stories. Both are shining examples of how conservatives are fighting religious freedom in America. Okay, the first one comes out of um, Florida, in particular Crawfordville, Florida. It seems that a member of the com uh, county commission, or the, uh, the town commission, posted a picture of a group of Muslim men praying on a beach. So they're on a beach, all facing Mecca, and praying. And I uh, walked up on this at Mesh's Sands this evening. First time seeing this in uh, Wakula County. So it is a county mission. Sorry, county. Um, and this, of course, has got a lot of people upset. Some people are upset because there are Muslim people on the beach. Some people are upset because, you know, you're making us look bad. Um, this guy is a gem. The Wakula County Sheriff's candidate will dance. Yes, the man's name is Will Dance. Um, stated to the commissioners, I'm raising the question whether or not a group of military-aged Muslim men are praying on our beach. Well, label me whatever you want. The reason I brought this up is because my daughters use that beach, my wife uses that beach, and gentlemen, under Sh uh, Sharia law, the cut-off shorts and t-shirts that my family wear on the beach are considered offensive under Sharia and any Muslim man may carry out what he feels is fit punishment. And I'm sorry, but the type of behavior cannot happen here. Okay, dude, Mr. Dance, I'm going to call you what you are. You're a raging bigot and a theistic zealot. I've got news for you. Any Christian man could also say, decide to wake up one day and impose the fact that people aren't supposed to wear cotton and wool together at the same time. Or start shooting people if they eat shellfish. Oh, you remember those? Yeah, they're out of the Bible. Okay? And they're considered just as serious as all the other silly ass things in the Bible. Um, so, you're a bigot. Someone else commented about this. Uh, here. So, for the life of me, I don't understand why the chair of our county commission would, would capture a picture of individuals praying at the beach, helping create this mass negative hysteria on social media. Well, I can think of a reason, because the person is a bigot. Um, and this one is beautiful. This is from Commissioner Howard Kessler, made a statement to his peers. People have the freedom to be uncivil. We as elected officials don't have that. Because those elected officials are supposed to be representing the people. Yeah. Um, so you've got a situation of people doing what they should be doing in America. Exercising their religious freedom. Someone else isn't happy about this. Someone else feels intimidated when someone exercises their religious freedom. Now, is it social progressives that are upset about this? No, of course not. It's social conservatives. Because as I've said before, social conservatism is a disease. Now, story number two deals with the Wichita State University. Um, and they are remodeling the chapel and they're making it, pardon me, they're making it faith neutral. And they're doing this by tearing out the pews and putting in chairs so that when needed, the chairs can be folded up and moved out of the way. Um, and then you can, they can put prayer rugs down for um, Muslim students to use the chapel as well. Now, the person that donated the money for the chapel, uh, under the terms of Mrs. Harvey D. Grace's gift to the university in her will, this chapel will be open to all creeds and to all races of people. So our goal should be exactly what Mrs. Grace set out to do in her gift, to have an all-faith chapel which is welcoming to all religious groups on campus. What a startling concept. Having a chapel there to actually accommodate all the students. Now, it wouldn't just accommodate Muslim students, of course. It would also accommodate anyone that does uh, any kind of meditation that is traditionally done while sitting um, on the floor. So it, it isn't just kneeling to pray. It is also, you could sit on the floor for, for, for different forms of meditation than from the Taoist or Buddhist traditions. So this would actually make it a broader interfaith chapel than just um, the Islamic faith. Uh, but there are some people very upset by this. And um, 
said, but what happened in Wichita State wasn't so much a renovation as it was a Christian cleansing. Any, anything remotely related to the decor of our Christian church was given to heave ho. The chapel stained glass windows are still intact for now, but I would be terribly surprised if they were boarded up for the sake of inclusivity. That's not necessarily how this works, folks. And whenever someone spits the term inclusivity as a swear word, you know they're up on the wrong they're on the wrong side of history. Being inclusive of all religious faiths at an interfaith chapel is pretty much the definition of interfaith chapel. But nope, there's got to be a controversy because the social conservatives of, of America aren't happy unless they are firmly clutching their pearls every single day. So we already have two stories here of how social conservatives are trying to ruin religious expression in America. Because I don't know if any of you have actually read the First Amendment. It says that the government cannot establish a religion. Other than that, the people can establish religious expressions they want to. It's one of our greatest freedoms. And whether it's a public beach or an interfaith chapel on a state university, those are places where everyone should be welcome. Now, if there had been a Christian prayer group, a revival on that beach, no one would have batted an eye. And if this had been an Islamic school that had an interfaith chapel, and they were required to bring in pews or bring in chairs, again, no one would have batted an eye in America. Because this is supposed to be inclusive of Muslim people, a group that is in the vast minority in America, this is a controversy. And I'd like to point out that Sharia law is a danger to the world. It is not a danger to America. Why? Because our Constitution says it's, it, it isn't allowed. It says, even though there are Christians who are desperately trying to turn our, our nation into a theocracy. As long as Sharia law is Christian Sharia law, a whole lot of people have no problem with it. As soon as you say that it has anything to do with the Islamic faith, oh, well, well, we can't have that now, can we? But as long as theistic zealotry is painted with a Christian brush, Americans are very accepting of it. But that's anti-American. That goes against the First Amendment. We are supposed to be inclusive of all faiths. It's that simple. And yet, Social conservatives fight that every day. They fight religious expression. And let's stop calling this anything other than it is. Social conservatives attempting to impose their religious belief on the world around them and in the process being raving bigots. <laughs>